Yo, what's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today I'm finally gonna try to figure out how to put decals on my trailer to just advertise a little bit better. Because if you've watched my videos before and seen my trailer and my truck set up, all I have for decals and advertisement is my magnets on the side of my doors and my trailer's right there, you can see the top of it. It's just completely black. There's not a single thing on it for advertisement, not a single phone number, nothing. So my plan is, hear me out, is to go get a silver permanent marker, but don't think that's all I'm doing. <laughs> I'm gonna go get a silver permanent marker because my trailer is black wood. Try to sketch out, rent me on the front, and just so I can kind of scale and see if it's centered and everything and try to get the letters the same size, and then go to Home Depot. Well, I'm gonna get, probably get the silver permanent marker from Home Depot too, but go to Home Depot, get a paint roller brush that's probably like two inches wide. If they have like an inch and a half, whatever, I'll try to find that but whatever I could find for the smallest paint roller, because I don't want to use a brush, because when you're using a brush to paint lettering on, it can be uneven. The letters can be different thickness and it's just gonna look really bad. So I'm gonna try to find a roller and just what I sketch with the permanent marker, roll over with the roller so it looks more even. And obviously I'm gonna have a line at the top that's level and the top of each letter is gonna be touching that line. I don't know, this could be a complete fail and I end up just painting back over the letters in black because it looks terrible. Or it could be great and if I get rent me on the front, it looks good. Maybe I'll do junk move on the sides because I use this trailer for both. But I mainly want rent me with a phone number on the front of the trailer because when it's backed into people's driveways, uh, other people driving by just really see the front and they get a glance at the side when they're driving by obviously. But rent me on the front would just be, I feel like would get me some phone calls, especially if I start renting it out more and more because I've been posting it on Facebook Marketplace and in uh, like for sale groups on Facebook and I've actually gotten a decent amount of rentals. I think I've done like five or six now since I started talking about it and saying I wanted to do it. And I've had to shut a few jobs down just because that trailer is a single axle trailer and it's already got probably over 500 pounds of lumber on it to make it the way it is. And the axle is only rated for like 3,000 pounds. So I can really only load like 1,500 to 2,000 pounds pushing it of material in it before the axle's overweighed. So I've had to shut down some mainly contracting jobs because people want to use it to throw out flooring or they're redoing like a kitchen and they want to do the like rip out the tile and the cabinets and stuff like that is just way too heavy so i mainly just been renting it out for like people clearing out their garage or cleaning out old furniture and mattresses and stuff like that but it's been going well i've been charging anywhere from 150 to 200 bucks for the rental and just been doing 24 and 48 hour rentals i had one person call for a three day and i just added an extra 50 dollars for an extra day and that was nice because the trailer was sitting there making me money every day and I had my other new trailer, the smaller one, and I was just using that one for junk removals. Anyways, yeah, that's the plan. We're gonna go to Home Depot, try to find the supplies that I can gather together to see if I can make this happen. But you're probably wondering why don't I just go get decals and stick them on. Got a few reasons. First one is I don't know how much that's gonna cost. I don't know where I would go to do that. And if I did that, then I wouldn't have a video to make about this. That's reason number one. Number two is the trailer's made out of wood and it's not super, super smooth wood. I don't think stickers are gonna stick to wood that well. If it, like when you see stickers on trailers, usually it's a metal dump trailer and you can get a good seal with the sticker on the trailer. But me having a wood trailer, I could just see it raining a few times and some dirt getting on these stickers or getting on the edges and them just peeling off. So it just doesn't seem like a good idea. It would just be way better if I could just paint letters on there. And if I learn how to do it, I could do it with future trailers and show you guys how to do it. So if you want to do it yourself one day. But yeah, that's the plan. Let's go to Home Depot and see if we can find the supplies that we need. All right, so the issue I'm running into here is, I think this is the smallest they get, three inches, and I think that's just too wide for each letter. Uh, but we'll see. Maybe I can find something a little bit smaller or I might have to hand paint them. All right, just checked out at Home Depot and this is what I came up with. Little change of plans. I couldn't find a two inch roller. They only had three inches and I don't know if that was gonna be too wide or not. So I didn't feel like buying it and trying to bring it home, test it, and then if it didn't work, having to come back and do all that. So this is what I went with. Um, a two inch hand brush, a nicer one. This was like nine dollars alone for this brush but this one this thing you said this is china x whatever however you pronounce that was said it's good for fences and decks so that's gonna be the same thing as a trailer in my opinion you're painting wood this one says it's good for painting on fences and my trailer is pretty much like a fence material then for the sharpie i got this oil-based sharpie in white 
and this thing was like five bucks too. And then I got the same paint that I painted my trailer with, but white. And it came out to like 25 bucks. So if you want to do this and you want to even make it cheaper, you don't have to get the nice brush. You can just get any brush. Um, I would prefer at least like a $5 brush, not those dollar ones at the bottom of the rack. When you get nicer brushes like this, the bristles at the top and everything are just more even and it just cuts a little bit smoother. So I wouldn't cheap out too much on the brush, but if you're trying to save five bucks here and there, you don't have to get this $5 Sharpie. You could just get any old Sharpie and you don't have to get this nice brush. Realistically, you could have probably got all these materials for $15. But anyways, uh, we're gonna go home. I'm gonna try to sketch this out and then hand paint it on. So wish me luck. <laughs> all right, so we got uh, the canvas set. I just measured it four inches down to um, the bottom of the tape. So I did that all the way across so it's even. And then the interior of the box is 10 inches tall by 47 inches wide. I didn't like level out the tape or anything. Like I didn't take a level and follow the tape down the level. I kind of just put points and then connected the tape all together. So hopefully it's even, it looks pretty even to my point. And now I'm gonna get that Sharpie and try to fill in rent me right in that square and make sure it looks ideal and then if it does fit good paint over the letters and try to make it as even as possible and then hopefully add my number at the bottom let's try to do that <laughs> all right that looks terrible but hopefully when we hand paint over it it looks a little bit better This uh, might be the worst attempt I've ever seen at someone trying to hand paint anything. This is not gonna fly. <laughs> Don't do this. Everything I did in this video, just forget about. This will be what not to do to your trailer. Yeah, this is a big fat L. <laughs> Oof. It looks like one of those murder scenes when people like write messages on the walls in blood or something. This just is awful final product <laughs> holy crap yeah this is getting painted back over and we're ordering some stencils and just spending the extra money to do it the right way maybe make another video of me spray painting the stencils instead of this method because this definitely did not work oh and i also forgot to mention i kicked over the paint can while painting what an epic fail <laughs> all right that was a complete fail in my opinion but I'm still gonna upload this video because honestly, that was pretty funny. And like I've said in some of my previous videos, I don't just wanna upload all my success and all my wins because then it's just gonna seem like I never make mistakes or never fail. I do fail and I do make mistakes and I try stuff sometimes and it doesn't work. And that's definitely what we just did. I spent like $25 and probably about an hour of my time. Completely wasted, that was just looked terrible. I definitely could have done it probably a little bit better and like after I peeled the tape off and tried to cover all the drip marks with black paint and square everything up with like a little brush with black paint and just try to make it look more even. But it's still, I just know, even after if I'd done all that, it still wouldn't have looked good. It was, the letters were like way too tall for how narrow they were. It just looked like crap. I have a plan B, so I think I'm gonna make a part two to this video just so it's not a complete fail of a video. There's gonna be, hopefully I'll upload this complete epic fail and then the second version of this video will be a success. Hopefully we'll see, but plan B is to order stencils off Amazon. I didn't even think about this. I probably should have started with this route, but it's a little bit more expensive, but not much, like $10 more to order stencils because I'll get all these stencils that I need. Obviously, I just need the rent me stencils and then my phone number, but I'm not gonna order every stencil individually. I'm just gonna get a pack from A to Z and a pack from one to 10. So I can just reuse each letter. And then we're gonna just try to spray paint 
using the stencils. And I think that'll be a lot better because the, the numbers and letters will just look more proportionate. The only thing I'll really have to like keep an eye on is make sure it's a level and the letters are evenly spaced apart. And I don't think that'll be too difficult, but yeah, that's plan B. So stay tuned for that. I might double upload this week just to finish this little two part video or wait till next week. I don't know yet. If you guys got a kick out of this or at least learned what not to do, hit that like button for me. And if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe for me. I appreciate all the subscribers I've been getting recently. We're at like over 2,500 subscribers now. Can't believe that. We're like a quarter away to 10K. That's the end goal. No, I'm kidding. We're not stopping at 10K. We're, we're going all the way into the millions, hopefully one day. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, like I said, hit that like and subscribe button. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.